Welcome back to Talk of the Town. We are joined by Lieutenant Chris Gonzalez. It's so good to have you here. Bluffton Police Department in the house. It's good to have you. Good. It's uh, great to be here. So you guys are so engaged with the community. Yes. I love it. From National Night Out to the programs you have in schools, you all have partnershiped with one of my favorite organizations, Lackey, which is the Low Country Alliance for Healthy Youth. Lackey. Yes. Um, you guys just put out a really cool program. So tell us a little bit about what we can find now at the Bluffton Police Department. Well, what we did is we partnered with uh, Lackey um, to put a medication dispenser box uh, in our facility. Um, and basically what it does is if you got all old medications lying around, it's, it's a place where you can go properly dispose of it, drop it off, um, and it just takes that temptation away from the youth. I mean, um, are you seeing that as an issue? Like people um, take somebody else's medication that... A a absolutely. A lot of times, a lot of these, you know, like Lackey, you know, promotes positive environment for youth and a healthy yeah. life. And, you know, sometimes temptation and peer pressure, kids may go get their parents' old medication and um, experiment with it. And this just takes that temptation away. Yeah. You're done with the medication. You can bring it down to the police department, no questions asked. Go, in, go inside, drop it off, and throw it in there. And I think that's one of those things, just from personal experience, I have stuff that I'm, I'm not using and um, don't want to throw the pharmaceuticals into the toilet. Yeah. Right? That, because that, it goes into the in, in, yeah, that's right. to the water. I think that's one of the things that, if I remember correctly, it doesn't always filter out right. well, it'll, you know? It'll float to the top is on some of, that, some of the research that I've seen. There are other ways to get rid of it, um, but you got to put it in a plastic bag and put other stuff inside yeah. of it. And you, know, you can just take all the risk away. If somebody else getting it, just bring it to the police department, drop it in that That's box. That's awesome. And then we'll and dispose so of it. And so this was like, a, this was an expensive thing for Lackey. Yeah. I mean, they're yeah, they, really like, they. I love that organization. They are just digging in. They are. So what, it, what, it, what is it? It's they, like a... They, they basically um, generated the funds, purchased this for us, and put it in there, um, you know, through fundraising and donations. Um, they obtained the funds to do that and, yeah. and basically gave it to the town of Bluffton and we put it in the police department um, because they're promoting that positive, healthy youth yeah. uh, Good environment. Yeah, right? And, you know, we have a few teenagers out there that are kind of spearheading it and they are really... On fire. Doing a great job. They're on fire. Yeah. I mean, one of those things, for somebody who doesn't use drugs recreationally, mm -hmm. okay, it it would never cross my mind that somebody might take my pain meds. You know, like if I had just had surgery, right? Take the pain meds for a minute. I, I you know, I've only had surgery once, but I, my experience with it was like, I feel the pain anyway, and, but I just don't care. Like, mm -hmm. what's the point of me taking this, right? right. So I had a full bottle of, right. of this pain medication. It never would have occurred to me that, that somebody could, you know, use that. And so with this opioid, horrible horrible you know epidemic yeah, that we're facing yeah. right now what a great opportunity for kids who have grandparents here whose parents are here say hey are you done with that like let's get rid of this yeah yeah you know it takes a temptation it gets them thinking though about uh, about what's in the what's what's in the bathroom oh yeah you know what's wherever you keep it like what's in supply in the house because you know somebody's thinking about that you know yeah, they, I mean, the kids nowadays, you know, as you know, peer pressure, um, you get friends come over to visit, they go in, maybe go into your bathroom, use the bathroom, and they see the medication in the cabinet. Yeah. Maybe they'll take some, and it's old medication you don't need. We can just, we'll take it for you, and we'll take that temptation. That, that's the key is, you know. Keep people safe. Kids are kids. Get, and, yeah. Get rid of the temptation, right? Get rid of the possibility. That's right. And then also, you know, just it's a, it's a safe thing to do. Now, it's not during your regular hours. This is going to be right in your lobby, right? That's right. It's it's Monday through Friday. Um, Monday from 8 to 5. The lobby's open. It's the, you can walk in. Nobody's going to question you. Nobody's going to say anything. You can come in, drop it in there. Drop it in. And it locks. It's secure. It's, it's uh, secure to the ground, so nobody's going to take it. And what is uh, it? What is it actually called? It's an RX drop box. Correct. It's 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 really nice. It has the Lackey logo on it. It's nice. blue. Really nice, big, and it's very. It's a metal container. Almost looks like a mailbox. Perfect. Now you we've know, run so. out of time, but there are also okay. more of them around the Low Country. So yep. just look up. Uh, you can just just Google those RX drop boxes. Yep. 
It is so good to have you Thank here. Thank you. Thank you for having Police me. Department. We'll be right back with more Talk of the Town.